Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another haul. And today I'm doing a Doris Perkins haul. And this is mostly accessories. And I actually got this stuff for an IGTV video of different ways to wear this dress. But I didn't want to, I always feel like with content like that, a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. But I think that it sits really well on YouTube too. So I wanted to do something to share it on here as well. So you guys can see these great pieces and how they can be worn. So as soon as it's mainly accessories and a one dress and a blazer, I thought what I'd do is I will show you the products and then I'm going to do my little selfie try on in the mirror and show you guys just how many outfit combinations you can create with all of these products. So the main piece of the haul is this dress and so it's a summer dress campaign that I did with Dorothy Perkins and I picked this one because I just love how lightweight and loose it is. I like that it's got this waistband detail because it falls beautifully. This is actually a tall dress and I'd say I'm not tall, I'm like on the verge, like I always say, you guys probably are sick and hit tired of hearing that I'm too tall for the regular section but I'm not tall enough for the tall section so like I'm kind of on the verge I'm five foot seven so I'm definitely probably classed as average but sometimes dresses are a bit too short on me if they're meant to be midi dresses or maxi dresses like midi dresses if you know what I mean but yeah this is a maxi dress and I got it from the tall section so it fits me perfectly lengthwise actually it's a bit long but I like that um and yes it's really nice and loose i always find their sizing quite generous too i got size 10 and it fits lovely and it's a really nice lightweight long sleeved dress it's not heavy at all it's really nice and breathable um so i thought it was a really nice one to show you guys and i love that it's like monochrome with this floral print which kind of looks a bit like a dalmatian print from a distance and the other piece of clothing that i got was this blazer which is actually classed as cream and i've got some makeup on it but it kind of um, it's almost got like a pinky tone um, in my opinion which I don't mind at all so maybe it's more of like a blush but I definitely think that it was a cream it does say cream online uh, and I got this in a size 12 because I love my blazers to be oversized it's got these really I really like the um, cuffs it's like a kind of almost a slit in the side uh, and it has got this belt detail but it doesn't actually fasten on the front it just fastens on the back it's just like a really nice back detail and then it has got a button here um, and it's just really nice it's a bit long line which I think is also nice for wearing with dresses for like midi dresses and also with shorter dresses so I just think it kind of fits and falls at the right length which is a bit more flattering than like one that falls on your hips because it might be a bit more flattering so now on to accessories and the first thing is this belt. So I got this with a view to belting the blazer over the um, dress and also to belting the dress on its own. And this is just a really simple skinny belt. It's got this like almost, I don't know, it almost looks like it's been like a wood or something um, detail to the gold buckle. And then we've got like the mock croc and it's such a cute little skinny belt and I just thought that that would look so nice with the outfit. Then I've got quite a few bags <laughs> because I just thought a bag for every occasion. So this is such a cute little bag and it really reminds me of Cult Guy actually. I think it's such a good dupe for the Cult Guy one that was really popular a year or so ago. Um, so it's crochet and it's got a really nice crochet pattern. I don't know if you can see. Um, and then it's got these wooden handles and it actually goes quite far down. It's quite a big bag it's a lot bigger than it looks and you can fit quite a lot in it and it's got this cute little tassel detail i'm not sure if they've got it in other colors but if they have then i will say so in the description where i will link everything then we have this blush pink tote bag and i thought this would be really cute it was like a kind of day bag i really like this silver detail here uh, and it's got a detachable long strap too and i think you can actually unscrew these and take this um short straps off too if you wanted to uh, and it's also got like a little clutch bag on the inside that i guess you could use as a makeup bag or something um but it's just i guess to like keep your belongings safe but yeah and then it's got a long crossbody strap and i just thought it was a really nice it looks really expensive to me like it doesn't look like a cheap not that dorothy bag is cheap but it doesn't look high street um 
and I thought that the pink colour would look really nice, especially with that kind of pinky tone to the blazer. Then the final bag I have to show you is this really cute, same kind of vibe and another designer dupe. It's really similar to the Simon Miller one. Um, so it's got these resin, almost like tortoiseshell handles and then it's like straw raffia kind of material i don't know if they had this in natural i feel like they would have done um but maybe i missed it but i really like all the gold detailing and it's got this um drawstring top in like a fabric so that you can check your belongings and as you can see by the gold details on the side it has got a crossbody strap too um so it would kind of sit like that with this as like part of the detail of the bag um, so lots of options of that again and now onto shoes and I've got two pairs to show you and the first pair are these and I think these are so classic and honestly I'm so glad that these have come into my life because I didn't realise that I had a shoe hold that needed filling by these um, and they are such a classic pair they're like a black strappy style um, they're just kind of really simple they remind me of by far and those kinds and like neos and stuff uh, the only difference is that they've got a chunky heel which i actually think is kind of preferable especially for spring summer i know that we're not going to events and things at the moment but these are a classic for kind of years and years to come and most events in the summer when you would want to be wearing a little bit of a heel are on grass so a chunky heel is not something to be turning your nose at um and yeah i just thought they were really nice and i just love a little black sandal can't go wrong with them i've been wearing my topo sandals from topshop a lot this year and they're so nice but they are quite like fashion and sometimes you just want something no nonsense like just not fussy not too like loud and proud to something that will complement the outfit perfectly and then finally i got a pair of kind of small heeled sandals and these are really cute for day sandals they're like sliders but with a little bit of a heel um, and they've got a kind of mock croc i think they have them in other colors too and these will look really nice with like cropped jeans i think in summer with just like a t-shirt or like a blazer um, and also i just thought they looked so nice with the midi dress for i think these would be quite a good um again looking into the future here um pair of shoes for holiday because i feel like they look dressed up and, and also work i guess but like they look dressed up and they've got a little bit of a heel but to give you a lift but they're not actually heels um and i don't know about you but i never wear heels when i'm on holiday because i don't know what it is about wherever i always end up going on holiday but there are hills and slippery tiles everywhere and so heels are never a good option so these are quite a good pair to like give you a lift and make you look nice and fancy without being dangerous uh, and they kind of have an Hermes vibe to them to me I know they're not like complete dupes for them but they have got that kind of vibe um so I thought they were quite cute so I thought we could start off with the first outfit with the dress with the neckline done up so as you can see it can be tied up or it can be open i do prefer open but i think it looks nice both ways um so as you can see on the dress what i was talking about it just hems to a really nice length which is why i wanted the tall one because i wanted it to be a bit longer um and then i love the way the sleeves are and it's just so light and floaty and airy and perfect for summer and then i love the print too and i think this print looks so nice with this pink Doris Perkins bag, all of it's Doris Perkins of course. As I said, this has got a crossbody strap if you prefer that option. And I always like having bags that do have that option purely because even though it's not my go-to option, it's nice, say I was wearing this outfit and then all of a sudden I had loads of things to carry or um, I wanted to use my hands, I could put it across my body and it would be fine. Um, so it's quite nice to have that option always. Um, and then I have got these little small heeled sandals. So this is quite nice. You could wear this in the evening. Also maybe like a nice work look um, or like dinner or maybe a bit more formal. So obviously this is something that you could wear in the day as well. But I just wanted to show you it as how I would wear it for the evening. Um, so I've undone the top. So as you can see the neckline is more of like a v-neck. Uh, and I think it looks nice both ways and it's nice that you've got so many different options with this dress um, and then we have got the little bag this one's with the resin handles again has got the crossbody option um, and then the little strappy sandals which look really cute with this um, and then so this is like a kind of like dinner nice evening and then we can take it up even more for a fancier notch by adding the belt and switching up to a swankier bag so I'm going to show you that now 
so as you can see just adding the belt um, really brings in and because this uh, dress has got the bit where the waist goes in it just looks so nice I think that it goes really well um, and it kind of makes it a little bit shorter which is nice too makes it maybe more of a midi dress um, and then I've got the same shoes on and then I've just added the crochet bag because I think it looks a bit more dressed up and this is a really nice kind of dressier look obviously if you wanted you could add the tote bag too for, um, to make it like more formal uh, or the other bag to dress it down a bit so there's lots of different options so we have gone back to the low sandals here I think they look really nice with the dress um, and then we've still got the belted detail on which look makes it look more formal and then the blazer I've just added and I really like this blazer as I said before it comes to a really nice length that's really flattering and also looks nice with shorter dresses um, and then I've got this uh, the kind of straw bag again I think this looks really nice so as you can see it looks also really nice and it dresses it down a lot just to take the belt off it's still got this nice kind of waistline detail because it's got the ruched detail there uh, and the blazer the way that it kind of comes in here where the lapel ends is where that waist is so it still kind of gives you a nice waistline um, but it looks really nice without the belt as well and I feel like the pink and the uh, floral print the monochrome print with the um, blazer it all just looks so nice and then my little white sandals again I just think this is such a cute little uh, kind of summer afternoon look and then finally we have got the blazer with the belt over the top which I think also looks really nice and to do this what I've done is I've just tucked I haven't done the blazer up because I think it works better um, without that because otherwise it would have been bunched because the blazer's not exactly tight um, and I've just folded the bit with the button on underneath so that the, the button isn't showing because that could kind of look a bit complicated with the button and the belt there so I've just folded it underneath um, and I, it works really well I actually really like the way that it's open at the bottom too because I think it kind of leads into the dress really nicely as I said before it works because it's just such a perfect length um, and yeah I just think it works and looks so nice I've got my little swanky crochet bag on again and my slightly heeled simple minimal sandals and this is just a really nice monochrome look again this would look really nice with the low sandals with the pink bag with the other bag and um, the other black bag with the belt without the belt there's so many different options and I think every single outfit would look nice with either of the shoes or either of the bags so I just wanted to show you a few different options and I can't believe that there's so many different looks with a belt a blazer and a dress um, and then obviously all the different accessories so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that the options are endless um, and this dress was on sale last time I checked too which is something worth noting so thank you so much for watching this little haul slash styling video I hope that you enjoyed it and got some inspo let me know if you pick that dress up I think it's such a good buy and also I know so many people on uh, YouTube and on Instagram loved the ASOS um, embroidered dress that I shared and I thought that that had like a really similar vibe to the ASOS dress uh, and actually it's probably better more lightweight whereas the ASOS one's quite because it's jersey it's probably like thicker and a bit hotter to wear so yeah that's why I thought it'd be a really good one and yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment if you got to the end with a little dress emoji um, and I will see you next time. Bye!